Hi, this is Pooja from Alt News. Recently, really gory images of dead bodies being dismembered by people was viral on social media as Rohingyas killing Hindus and eating their flesh. Fake news website Dainik Bharat published an article titled Daravni Khabar Hindu ka katal kar unka maas kha rahe Rohingya mewat ka mamla khabar vichlit kar sakti hai. This translates to horrifying news Rohingyas are killing Hindus and eating their flesh. A case from Mewat, this news may send shivers down your spine. This article by Dainik Bharat also included a Facebook post by one Sanjay Dwivedi who had shared a newspaper clipping of Aachta Gurgaon. According to this newspaper, Rohingya refugees in Mewat, which is a Muslim-dominated area in Haryana, were eating Hindus. The same report is also available in the online format. It must be noted that Aachta Gurgaon is not a part of India today's Aachta. So what is the truth about these images and the claim that Rohingyas ate the flesh of Hindus? Firstly, the claim itself should raise doubts because of its horrific nature and the fact that it suggested cannibalism. So all news decided to dig deeper. Upon reverse searching the images on Google, we found that they actually represented Tibetan funeral rites. We found blog posts and social media posts on both Facebook and Twitter which were carrying the same viral images and these were described as Tibetan funeral ritual. We also found lots of videos on YouTube including a documentary by National Geographic on how certain Tibetans donate dead bodies to scavenging vultures. What is to be noted is that vultures were also visible in the images that were viral with the Rohingya narrative. So these pictures are basically of Tibetan sky burial which is a traditional funeral custom to bid farewell to the dead. It is a type of an excarnation practice in Tibetan Buddhism. According to the custom, a human corpse is placed on a mountain exposed to scavenging birds. So these images had nothing to do with Rohingyas eating Hindus. Whenever you come across such provocative claims on social media, it is important that you cross-check them with facts. In the past, we have observed how this entire narrative of Hindus being in danger is being propagated on social media through misinformation.